Hello everyone, Steve here with my newest, latest, and greatest clock. This design combines the best features from all of my previous clocks. It's quite a bit larger than my first clock I designed. It's 23 inches tall, nine and a half inches wide, and it sticks out from the wall about seven inches. Yeah. This clock has run times ranging from eight to 15 days. This clock is running with an 11 day runtime using just over nine pounds of weight. This clock uses the gears that came from the Crazy Gear desk clock, but in a vertical wall mounted orientation, uh, gives it a much nicer looking clock. Some of the features are based on the easy build clock. For example, the frame that just screws together uh, the, the parts just drop into position and a couple of screws hold everything in place. But I really liked the, the gears in the, the crazy gear desk clock, so I put them into a wall clock. Uh, added a couple of other features. Uh, one right up here at the, the pallet and the pendulum have a rigid connection acting like a crutch. That's what gives this clock such great efficiency. The winding key is an improved design that's actually easier to, to build. It just uses two pieces of three millimeter rod cut to length. There's no machining involved. And then the key has two holes in it. They just go together. Uh, this whole thing slips over a skateboard bearing and the key just goes on and lets it, everything wind so that the skateboard bearings support the, the large weight of the weight shell, but without any complicated machining steps in order to make a reliable winding key. Another feature is adjustable standoffs holding the frame away from the wall allows this clock to, to sit on any wall, even if the wall's a little bit uneven. I can put lots more weight on this thing. That could this clock could probably support 20 pounds of weight without any frame sag. So this design is available at my mini factory and I've got additional information on my website. Check it out and Hope you like it. Thanks for watching. Here's a close up of the escapement. It's highly visible right at the front of the clock. And up here is the connection between the pallet and the pendulum that gives this clock great efficiency. It acts very much like a, a crutch, but it's a, a, much, a little bit more of a solid connection. Here's the adjustable standoffs. It's just a threaded cap that goes over the standoff and then a nut to lock everything in position, sets everything secure to the wall.